and welcome back to the Snake Bite, your home for all things FSC Athletics. I'm Andrew Pauling. And I'm Slinky Jones. It was a good week in Florida Southern Athletics, so let's jump right into it. The women's basketball team defeated Ecker College last Wednesday by a close score of 60-56. to Senior Mercedes Claiborne had a big scoring game with pivotal points for the mocks off the bench. The women also secured a win against Rollins College with a final score of 78-61 to on Saturday. This gave the Mocs their 13 straight win and keeps them a big contender for the national championship title. Anya Fuchs Robertson was named SSC Player of the Week for the third consecutive week after averaging 26 points and 8 rebounds per game. The Mocs are 16-1 on the season and a perfect 9-0 in conference play. The men's team also defeated Eckerd by a final score of 82-69, improving to 13-3 overall and 6-2 in conference play. Senior Ben Morello went off against the Tritons, scoring 27 points, which set a new career high for him. While on the road on Saturday, the men dropped a contest to conference opponent Rollins College. A slow start on offense was the ultimate deciding factor of the contest. This puts the Mocs at 13-4 on the season and 6-3 in Sunshine State Conference play. And the man to my left, Slinky Jones, SSC Defensive Player of the Week for the third time this season, sixth time in your career, so congrats to that, Slinky. Thank you. And then you guys defeated Eckert here at home, as did the women's team. You guys have... A big matchup at Eckerd in a couple of weeks that will be streamed on ESPN3. Big coverage for you guys and Eckerd as well. Big coverage for the conference. Yeah. What are your expectations going into this? We asked Camille last week. I want to hear your take on it. Um, following up on her, I'm sure we both want to win. Like every team wants to win in the conference. Uh, set us up for late runs and playoff for seeding. It's going to be a good game because it's going to be on ESPN. They're going to bring a lot of energy. We're coming in with the same game plan on both sides, and we're hoping to get the same result from both sides. All right, good luck in that matchup Thank coming you. up. That'll be on ESPN3 or the ESPN app. Now let's see how swimming did in their final home meet of the regular season. The men's swimming team secured a big win over the weekend, defeating Indian River State by a final point total of 135.5 to 126.5 during the final home meet of the season. Sierra Luca Planick won the 1,500 individuals before anchoring the meet winning 400 freestyles. Planick picked up SSC Swimmer of the Week for the first time this season, joining Matthew Holmes and Mateus Lopez as the three mocks to receive that honor this year. The mocks will be back in action in the Sunshine State Conference Championship on February 21st through the 24th in Clearwater. The women fell to Indian River State at home with a final point total of 174 to 85 in their final regular season meet. Katie Moore clinched two early freestyle wins, but it was not enough to overcome the NJCAA national champion Indian River State team. Moore was named Swimmer of the Week for the conference as a result of her impressive performance in the MOCS final meet. Congratulations to all of our swimming seniors on their great collegiate careers. In Moccasins track, the men competed in Daytona Beach in the season opener at the Embry-Riddle Indoor Outdoor Classic on Saturday. Josh Wagner set a score record and broke a personal record in a 1,000-meter run. Wagner also placed second in the 3,000 meters. The women's track team also ran in the Embry-Riddle Indoor-Outdoor Challenge on Saturday. Alana Gall placed first in the 1,000 meter and Addison Cantor placed first in the 3,000 meter. The Mocs had a strong showing in their first meet of the season, posting 11 top 10 finishes. Head eSports coach Nate Caron was named to the Top 25 College League of Legends poll panel by ESPN last week. The bi-weekly poll highlights some of the 300-plus college coaches in the U.S. and Canada. The Mocs began their season back on January 7th, and re regular season play runs through March 3rd. So, Slinky, up next for the Mocs, we have men's and women's basketball at home tonight against St. Leo. What are your expectations and the keys to victories coming up tonight? Um, I know on the women's side, they, they have things rolling, so I know they want to just go in and do the things they've been doing as far as uh, my team. We're coming off a loss, uh, so it's kind of a statement game for us to get back on the winning column. and. Coaches uh, preach to us that we need to come out with a lot of energy. This is a good team despite their record, and we need to put that behind us and get another W. Yeah, absolutely, Slanky. Good luck tonight. Thank you. And also tonight during the women's game, the team will be honoring legendary college basketball coach Pat Summit. They're asking fans to wear orange to the game as part of their honoring of that legendary coach. And also $2 can be taken off your admission, price of admission for your ticket, if you bring a non-perishable food item that the college is planning on donating. That's all from us this week. Thank you guys for tuning in to The Snake Bite, and we'll see you next week at 3. I'm Andrew Pauling. And I'm Slinky Jones. See you next week. Thank you for tuning in.